Hello and welcome to Hobbs and Friends. Today we are in Morel's Castle and we are going to be doing the Suspiciously Sweet Treats quest from the House of Thule expansion. To get to this uh, NPC, uh, it's quite simple. You start here at the zone line, you go up here into this main room, follow this wall through the tunnel there, and then around here and then in here. Nothing saw in Viz for me, but right in this area you will find some trees that can see in Viz, so you know, keep an eye out there. Quest starts here with Zararia, and uh, let's see what she has to say. What a young, vibrant skeleton you are. Tell me, do you like sweets? I love sweets. My sisters and I are masters of confections. Children flock from distant lands just to get a tiny taste of something, of the sweet treats we conjure. Of course, there is a small price to pay for delighting in our delectables. What is the price? A big a bite of hedgeberry pie comes at the cost of a smidgen of life, which will help this aging witch bask in the grace and beauty of youth once more. Don't give me that look. It's not like the pudgy little candy hoarders around here will miss it much. All they care about is filling their rolling bellies with sweets and treats. Half... <laughs> The halfling youngsters can't resist the hedgeberry pie. Unfortunately, they've learned not to trust taking treats from an haggard old witch like myself. I need someone with a fresh face to help me lure <laughs> these candy orders into my house. I will help you. While, <laughs> while tapping their fingers together with obvious delight. Excellent. Splendid. All together, I will create a positively delicious hedgeberry pie. But first, I'll need help collecting some ingredients. What ingredients do you need? I need, let's see here. Hedgeberries dangle from the branches of the hedge walkers. But those fickle treants always grumble over my dead trunk. When I ask a pluck a few, you can arrange it that I'm sure Zarya licks her withered lips with a sly grin and adds, don't forget the speckled rabbit meat. You'd really be surprised at its sweetness. And of course, no pie could be complete without a dash of hopes and dreams snatched easily enough from a few of the daydreamers that float around the area. All right, so we need to get four hedgeberries, two speckled rabbit meat, and uh, one dream fragment. So let's uh, cloak up and a sneaky sneak. Is this a named? It is a named. Oh, jeez. All right, I guess we're killing. Oh, never mind. Jeez. <laughs> we are. Uh... Here, that's wrong. All right, what do we get off this uh, mask? Of the skin candy hoarder. All right. Druid, monk, and beast lord. All right. Uh, that'll go on. Uh, that'll be one platinum on my uh, vendor if anybody wants that. I've sold 5,000 items at this point. Um, I'm quite shocked. I have one, one platinum. I've, sh I've sold 5,000 items. I like restocked this thing. Like I, I have like, I have like 30 accounts at this point. Just like full of absolute junk. And I've been selling everything for one platinum. Like, and I say junk, I just mean stuff I don't use, right? Like raid loot from all the raids I've ever done. Uh, Defiant gear from every gear character I've leveled. Uh, I sold two full bags of Galliant armor from uh, Lorian Song. I mean, it's just like crazy. How, uh, how fast the... That stuff gets cleared out. And I don't know if people are like reselling it or using it. I know I, I was like sitting there one day and I saw uh, someone who actually needed stuff like come and get it. So I thought that was kind of nice. But uh, usually I'm offline. There we go. Kill a hedge walker. We should get some hedge berries from this guy, theoretically. There we go. This stuff's prelootable, by the way. So keep that in mind. All right, we got one of those. Let's get, uh, oh, there's a rabbit. Are you going to count for the rabbit meat? OK, 
come on now. But uh, hopefully this week I will be releasing more videos. Hopefully just enough to finish this uh, expansion uh, in time <laughs> for the end of the month. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm ready to move on to Empires of Kunark and uh, some of this stuff is just lingering on. I'm actually not even doing these with my my boxes just to speed this up. I'll come back and do that with them later. I just, it just doesn't matter. This is my main character now and anything else is not important to me. All right, we got another one of these. What is some drakes? All right. Guess we need to invis up as we're walking through here because we're going to get attacked by everything uh, regardless of our level here. Now we are 100 and I don't plan on level locking unless I have, you know, like a video I need to make at a certain level. I don't see that actually happening. Um, when I get 105, I'll make the 105 videos and stuff like that. But for the, the general part of it, like we're going to hit 125 well before we, we hit uh, Lorian Song and the Outer Brood. So I'm... Uh, I am going to probably go back and do some of these quests I didn't do, but I'm going to do them at 125 as, you know, the Shadow Knight. I don't think I'm going to do Personas. I've actually started a, on my seventh account that's gold, I have a, a warrior I'm leveling up for uh, some videos and stuff. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a Persona Warrior. I, I just, I started thinking that, you know, the Personas are more or less... A way to switch your character to like play something else as like the like your main because like it gets kind of complicated and like I have I have my other characters that are persona and stuff like that and their bags are just absolutely full of gear and it's just like annoying so maybe if they fix that it'll be different for me but right now it's not it is not uh <laughs> it is it's just not something I want to, I, I don't want to deal with the inventory management and stuff like that. So this guy is going to, well, he has a Paladin persona, but I'm not going to like play the pit, that right. Like if I, if I decide in, you know, the next expansion that I don't want to be a Shadow Knight anymore, I want to be something else then I'll do, I'll change as a persona so I don't lose my work, but that's the way I kind of see it from this point on. All right, that is not dropping the meat. Let's go, let's go over here. I know there's some rabbits in this area. Oh yeah, here's speckled hairs. These are what we wanted. What are we at here? 59%, wow. I kind of jumped up. I thought we were at 51 there a minute ago. There we go. Nope, still no meat, but we're getting some platinum items. Let's leave that on the corpse. Looks like this meat might be a little bit rare, so uh, that's unfortunate. Come on. But I like, I mean, soloing, like I could drop out a, a mercenary and I'd like, have zero chance of dying, but <laughs> it's actually kind of nice to just, you know, actually be solo and see what happens with just my own healing ability, you know, it puts a little bit more credential, you know, speak into my videos or how I play, I think, since uh, this stuff just instantly dies when I have all six characters here anyway, it's just like crazy. All right, so we got our, our two pieces of meat and uh, ready to move on to the dream. And those are right here across the river. And if I'm not mistaken, this thing drops like fairly common, so we shouldn't have to kill more than one or two of these. As long as we kill the correct mob, right? There we go. And there it is, Dream Fragment. 
All right, we need to go hand all this stuff in so she can go make our pie. So let's see here. And I'm trying to like this. There's another guy in the room that has a quest and I have no idea what quest, <laughs> quest he gives. I've been, uh, I've been trying to figure it out. All right. So she wanted two meats. She wanted four berries and one dream fragment. You've done a fine job, Hobbs. Now I'll need a full jug of enchanted water, which only spills from the falls on the castle wall. You can't miss the cascade as it flows from a magical mural that hangs on the wall on the northern edge of the stream. The jug is rather large. It may take a while to fill. Be patient and you will be rewarded. All right. Collect a jug of water. All right. Is there falls around here? Like, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure where this location is. Let's go up here. All right, so the water ends there. This water starts over here, so. That's a, just a, a wild hunch, I guess. There's some, what looks to be a fall. And then there is a painting right above it. All right, perfect. That's where we need to go. So let's just walk right over here. And it's just in there. All right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Almost full. Almost full. There we go. Jug of Enchanted Water. Give the Jug of Enchanted Water to Azari. So we need to pop on back down and hand that in so it's not that hard of a quest right as long as you have invisibility to avoid having to kill all this junk as as you go through it i think that is uh the ideal thing right there here oh wait wait wait, wait, wait. Attacked by a named halfling named Greta. All right. Well, it's like, <laughs> I wasn't even going to bother trying to do the hunter in this zone, but I'm like getting it passively without even trying. There's not even an unnamed event going on right now. There we go. All right. Greta is taken care of when she dropped a worn child's doll. Uh, which is a range item for caster hybrids. Most classes. There we go. All right. Ooh. So we got a candy assortment, which is a tray with some that. But we got some extra planar silk. Uh, That's for making some trade skill bags. Perfect. All right. Let's hand the jug over to uh, Oz right here. And speak to her again. Be cautious. The candy hoarders around here are hostile little things. Pick their sweets at all costs. Find a hungry halfling. Lure them with a hedge berry pie. Once you have that, the rest should be a piece of cake. All right. Use the pie on a halfling. A hungry halfling. All right. Let me uh, let's see here. Is there... All right, it's right in front of us, so let's invis up. Crazy candy, oh, there he is, hungry halfling. All right, let's go right here. Lead the halfling to the oven. All right, I'm not, I'm okay with that. He's slowly walking his way down here. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, crazy halfling. Candy crazed halfling. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Jump in the oven. Oh, yeah. Delicious. All right. We need to collect the remains. There we go. And give the charred halfling remains. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. This quest. All right. Let's speak to her again. 
Thanks for your culinary prowess and sneaky ways, Zarya has been able to temporarily reclaim her youthful appearance. Alright. And I guess we <laughs> didn't get to see what she looked like uh, there for a second. I guess she changed and changed back. I don't know. Uh, but there we go. That is funny. <laughs> that is absolutely funny. And uh, that's that. We got, you know, the same reward we get for everyone. 158 platinum, 10 faction, 20 motes, and that is that. Uh, but there we go. That is a suspiciously sweet treats uh, in the Morel Pool or Morel's Castle zone. So thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day. Thank you.